Hey everyone, it's Tim Vine here and welcome to Board of Numbers, episode 11, the show where we talk about numbers on the dartboard and we've got through up to 10 and here we are on number 11. 11 is a rather lovely number, I think, although it does have the same problem that 6 has that I did outline to you that I'm a little bit better, I think, at... uh, at going from side to side than, I am, side to side than I am up and down. And so if you're going for a single 11, it's very easy to stray into the 14 above or the, um, what's it, below? What is below? The 16, is it? The 8, sorry, the 8, yeah. So, you know, you, you, you're in a situation really where where if you've got to get the single, it's not in a happy pair, as we talked about um, in recent episodes, I think, about uh, friendly twins number 16s and 8s, etc. But, of course, uh, the single 11 can be hit with uh, a situation where you're on 51, you go single 11, double 20. That, I would say, is done occasionally. Less uh, less common is 27, um, 11, double 8. I would say that's less common because I say, you know, I say it again, even the pros want to go for more percentage shots to a degree and an 11 is not a desperately nice single to throw for. You'll very rarely see a, a pro on 31 throw 11 double 10, but I guess it's possible if you absolutely love double 10, maybe you would. Um, and 111, treble 20, single 11, double 20. And you realise you get the old single sandwich there, as I call it. You have the treble 20 and double 20 equals 100 and you just stick whatever number in the middle there and in that situation it's a single 11 so you know treble 20 single 11 double 20 or if you're on 112 treble 20 single 12 double 20 it's an easy way of doing working out your finishes one two one's an interesting one particularly for the pros because they would go if they're on one two one they go triple triple 20 that leaves you then on 61 now I would say they probably, some of them would go for outer bull to then go for double 18. Although I remember Ted Hankey once saying to me, he said, I don't go for outer bull anymore because I keep hitting bull. Well, that's a problem I'm sure we'd all like to have. But uh, uh, even so, I think that probably is, uh, that's an issue perhaps. And so as a result, a lot of them now, after that triple 20, on 61, they go for treble 11. Knowing that single 11 will leave the bull, but treble 11 will leave double 14. It's a handy way of doing one two one, and relatively new way in terms of... I don't, I don't feel I've seen that a lot. I, I really don't. Anyway, doubles. Um, uh, again, I would say about the, the 11, because it leads to trouble. If you're going for a double 11 and you hit a single 11, it's, you know, it's a real old uh, leg ruiner. Um, then you're on a single 11, you go three for double four. Then you hit the four, then you go for the double two, you hit the two. It could go it could go horribly wrong quite quickly in that situation. So the pro doesn't often, uh, in fact, I go as far as to say, rarely uses uh, double 11 deliberately. Uh, for example, you know, when was the last time you saw a pro on 82 go treble 20, double 11? Probably never. Certainly if they're on 44, they wouldn't go double 11 twice. You might do in a pub if your name was Tim Vine and you were showing off to your friends and, and it would take... Uh, probably a few temps. Uh, Forty-two. Do you see? A, do you see a pro go twenty double eleven? Not so much really. Thirty-two. Do you see a pro go ten double eleven? I don't think so. I don't think so. Why would you? You go straight for double sixteen if you're on thirty-two. Now the other thing about eleven is, and I'm sure some of you are aware of this. There's this thing called split the eleven, and it happens sometimes when someone gets to the, they're going for double one, and you hit the single one and you got one dart in your hand. Uh, and, of course, you bust. The, the, the whole thing's ended there because there's no such thing as, as uh, um, you know, double half. And that's where split the 11 comes in. You've got those two single ones of the 11 on the, on the metal frame. And if you can sink a dart between those two ones, sometimes someone will say, split the 11 for the game, and you go and throw in that direction. Never happens, though, at the alley pally. In the, in the proper game. Never, ever happens. So let's have a look at treble 11. Um, treble 11, I, I'm, I'm rather rather fond of treble 11, if I'm honest with you. Uh, 73, most pros, I mean, pretty much everyone will go treble 19 for double 8. Uh, but I, I'm not against going treble 11 for double top. 
partly because if you stray into the, the 42, you've taken a big old chunk out of it and uh, you're on 31, then maybe you could throw 15 and double eight. Who's to say? But normally uh, that that's not seen, the treble 11, double 20. 83, uh, well, you know, when I used to play at school, you're on 83. Yes, you probably would attempt the treble 11 ball. Why wouldn't you? You're always looking for the ball finish to show off. And for that same reason, when I'm on one four three, sometimes, not always, sometimes I throw for that section, the section of treble 11 and treble 14 next to each other, because any one of them keeps the shot alive if you're on one four three. If you're on one four three and you hit treble 11, you're on 110, you go treble 20 bull. If you're on one four three and you hit treble 14, you're on 101, you go treble 17 bull. Fun ways to do things if you've got time on your hands. 65, I always think 65, treble 11, double 16. I think that's rather lovely. And I'm sort of surprised that that's not done a bit more often in the pro game. If you want to get to double double 16, why wouldn't you? Uh, but I guess it's just to do with the fact that when you're on 65, obviously going for outer bull is a, uh, a kinder, friendlier prospect. Um, outer bull for double top would make more sense. 104, you could go if you were uh, uh, something had time on your hands. You could go uh, treble 11, treble 13, double 16. Who do you see do it? No one. I might do it myself next time I have a chance. Uh, 130, when was the last time you saw someone go treble 11, treble 19, double 20? Rarely. I'll give you rarely. Never. Never is the answer. Anyway, there we are. It's, uh, it's Christmas Eve. And that is... The end of the episode. See you soon for 12 on Christmas Day.